Welcome to the hit new game show. Tis the season where two teams of players compete in nonsensical trivia questions unrelated to anything of importance in hopes to win prizes, medals, trophies, and merchandise of yours truly while raising money for local effort of families in the process. I'm your host, Mr. Marzok, and here is... Tis the season. The rules are simple. I'm going to ask questions related to absolutely nothing and are frankly pointless. However, the team that answers those questions correctly first will win the round with 300 points. However, if you answer incorrectly, you will lose 300 points and look like a cotton-headed ninny-muggin. So answer carefully. Additionally, these questions have absolutely nothing to do with Christmas or any other holiday for that matter. And lastly, teams must wait until I say the entire question before they can answer. Are we ready to play? Tis the season. Well, son of a nutcracker, let's get started. All right, so let's get to know our team here quick. What team do we have over here? Uh, Kellogg's Kings. Kellogg's Kings <laughs> featuring... Nice and loud so everyone can hear you. Zeke Jones, Braden Ritter, Alex Keeper. And over here we have... Well, I guess we're the low expectations, huh, Mr. Geyer? Copeland Hauser. I'm Alyssa Fedorchak. All right, and welcome. Let's get this started, shall we? Your first question, question 12. 12 drummers drumming. Are we ready? Your first question. Some people say that I'm full of it. If only I knew what it was for the sake of this question, Let's say that it is water. About what percent of my brain is made up of water? 80%, 100%, 10%, or 40%? 80%. That is correct. I'm giving it to them over there. It is 80% yeah. to their team. All right. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Question 11. 11 pipers piping. Here we go. All right. I think that Matthew McConaughey is overrated, and his career is on a downward spiral since he started doing commercials. However, some people think he's making a comeback. If Matthew McConaughey is currently experiencing a McConaissance, then what period of his life just ended? The McConaughey Dark Ages, the McConaughey Middle Ages, the McConaughey Enlightenment Age, or the McConaughey Industrial Age? Middle Ages! Middle Ages. I heard That's it over there first. He's, He's going to the Middle Ages? ages? That's not an answer. Well, I know what he meant, Zeke, but I'm <laughs> going to give it to them for this Nikana Middle Ages is correct, awarded to low expectations. Here we go. Ten Lords Leaping, are we ready? Here's your math question of the day. Paper and pencils ready. Okay. Arrange these Sesame Street characters in order of fewest to most eyebrows. Bert Ernie Count, Ernie Bert Count, Count Bert Ernie, Ernie Count Bert. You have ten. Yes? Bert Ernie Count. That is incorrect. Yes! Answer, is, I'm going answer B. Answer B Bert, is correct. Ernie it Bert is Bert Ernie Bert Count. Yeah. That is correct. 300 points to their team. Minus 300 over here. <laughs> All right. Yes, Zeke. Next yeah. question, fine ladies dancing. Here we go. Let's say the cast of Duck Dynasty attended a performance of Swan Lake and thinks there are real waterfowl on stage. In their confusion, which character would they most likely shoot? Siegfried, Bino, Von Rothbart, or Odette? You have ten. I'm going to the negatives. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> that is time. The correct answer is Odette. Oh. All right, let's get started into a swan. Next one. Eight maids of milking. Here we go. Let's say there was a national pandemic that required the immediate full onslaught purchase of toilet paper. While you just so happen to be visiting your cousin Janet Reno in France, what would the color of the toilet paper be in France? Brown, white, pink, yellow. Brown. That is incorrect. Over to you. Minus 300 for their team. Here's five, four, three, two, one. The correct answer is pink. The toilet paper is pink there. Minus 300 for their team. Next question. Seven swans are swimming. I only watch movies that are realistic like Die Hard and Hot Tub Time Machine. Not like the movie Frozen. There's absolutely no way Olaf would stay solid much longer than an hour. 
Keeping that in mind, what temperature would Olaf from the movie Frozen melt and die? 30 degrees Kelvin, 30 degrees Celsius, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Rankin. 30 degrees Celsius. I heard 30 degrees Celsius over there. That is correct. It is 30 degrees Celsius. It is correct for 300 points. <laughs> Six geese a Here we go. Six geese a land. Did you know they're thinking of remaking the Scorpion King? Yes! They are! Woo! I just wish they remade good movies like The Odd Couple. True. All right, now let's say a remake of the classic movie The Odd Couple used a superlative objective. It would be called The Blank Couple, The Otter Couple, The Odd Couple, The Oddest Couple, or The Otterest Couple. Oddest. That is correct for 300 over yeah. there. It is Oddest Couple. Oh, oh, All right, 300 <laughs> rounds <Hammer> for them. <laughs> All right, here's our first special question. It is five golden rings. It's a this or that question. Are you ready? All right, here's how this works. The rules. I give you a clue. You will need to decide with your team which category it belongs to. Okay, are you ready? First one to chime in. Remember, 300 if you get it right, minus 300 if you get it wrong. Your choices are, was it an alleged antic by Justin Bieber, or an antic by the classic children's book character, Curious George? Bieber or Curious George? Are you ready? Bieber or Curious George? Here we go. Ready? Urinated in a mop bucket. Bieber. That is correct. It is Bieber. 300 over there. Next one. Broke his leg falling from George, a fire George. I heard George over there first. 300 for Geyer. That is correct. All right. Arrested for falsely reporting a fire. Beaver. Beaver. I said it before. Sorry. That didn't count. They both said Beaver. They're both wrong. It is Curious George minus 300 for both. Egg the house. Beaver. I'm going over here for 300. I heard it there first. All right. That's Beaver. Over here. Fed a bugle to an ostrich. George. I'm going to give them both. I heard it simultaneously. It is George, 300 to both teams. All right. I don't like that. Four, <laughs> call four calling birds. Four calling birds. This is back to a regular question. Are you ready? All right, it's now time for kangaroo, peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Are you ready? Which one is it? First spotted in 1879. Uranus. That is incorrect for 300. That's what I was going to say. So I'm glad he said Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. That is correct. It is Albert Einstein for 300 points onto their team. Next one. Three French hands. If Kiss singer Gene Simmons' tongue grew to the average length of an adult giraffe's, how long would Gene Simmons' tongue be? Five inches deep, ten inches deep, twenty inches deep, or thirty inches deep? Twenty. I heard twenty over there first. That is correct. It is three hundred points to their team. Two turtle doves. Two turtle doves. You come home from school one day to find out that your mother has gone through another midlife crisis with a poorly placed tattoo. Which of these responses to your mother's new tattoo is an ambigram? What did you... Mom, you did what? What the... Mom? Mom, wow! Oh, mother, you've done it again. Mom, wow. That is correct. It is mom, wow, for 300 points. It is. That is when it's flipped upside down. All right, so, last question of the game. All right, and a partridge in a pear tree. Here's how this game will work. I will give you a clue, one clue, and the board is covered with answers. Possible answers, some are not the right answers. Are we ready? So answers are going to be up there. Somewhere on the board is your answer. I'm going to say it, and you need to tell me what the answer is. Are you ready? All right, I will shout out a random word or phrase. Your job is to find the answer on the board that matches the word I shout out. All right, are you ready? Your clue is, your house is made of what? Your house is made of what? Your house is made of what? These are all the answers. Your house is made of what? Ready? 
Hansel and Gretel's Witch. Gingerbread. That is correct for 300 points. The second of the three pigs. Sticks. That is correct for 300 points. Patrick from SpongeBob SquarePants. Pineapple. No. It's not it. Minus 300 over there. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. It was rock. The Pueblo Peoples. The Pueblo Peoples. That is correct for 300. People who shouldn't throw stones. Glass. That is correct for 300 points. Tapeworms. That's correct over there for 300 points of Team Geyer. Frank Underwood, metaphorically. Cards. That is correct for 300 <laughs> points. Those are all the correct answers. Let's add up our total. To oh, 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 oh. It, looks like, it looks like the Kellogg Kings have moved on to the next round. However, how much money did you guys raise? Uh... So 81 and 20 cents. They have it raised $81 and 20 cents. This we, we have so far raised hundred dollars. They have so far raised hundred dollars, which means even though they will move on to the next round, it is Team Geyer that will be awarded the donut party for this round. Yay. Thank you all for playing. We will see some of you again in the next round.